Hey, I am so excited to tell you the 10 vegan products I can't live without and animals can live longer because of them. All right, hit it. All right, so we're recording this episode as it turns out on World Vegan Day. November 1st is World Vegan Day. It's a perfect time to celebrate being a vegan. It's a better time to even go vegan. But what I wanted to share with you today is my top 10 items I can't live without. In our kitchen, we go through these items a lot. In fact, two of the items that I'm going to talk about today are already gone in our house. So, got to do this fast. <clears throat> the first item we have, <clears throat> now we don't have a Trader Joe's nearby, but when we do get to go to Trader Joe's, I always pick up this everything but the bagel sesame seasoning. This stuff is so great, I buy five at a time and I'm actually down to my last jar. So if you're watching this episode and you're near a Trader Joe's, please send me some. This stuff on avocado toast for breakfast is amazing. And so uh, this is like one of the many incredible vegan items that Trader Joe's has. The other one is gone. We used it in chili. We made some vegan chili yesterday for trick-or-treating and the soy chorizo that again we buy 10 of every time we visit Trader Joe's is gone. So get the Trader Joe's soy chorizo while you're there. Get the everything but the bagel seasoning. Don't put them together unless you really want to, but this stuff is great. This is item number 10 on my top 10 list. Item number two, I'm heading over to the refrigerator. <clears throat> so there is, I think, in the vegan world, the biggest debate around yogurt. And I don't know why that is. I think there's something scientific about it in terms of people's taste receptors, the way that people expect yogurt to taste, different flavors of yogurt, of course. Um, so silk, by far, in this household and for our family and for me alone, is the best vegan yogurt. You now, someone watching this video is going to say it's Kite Hill, which I find completely inedible. So there's a lot of uh, variation there in what um, different yogurts uh, people enjoy, why they enjoy them, but we love silk. So get silk yogurt, put this, uh, open it up, put this in a little uh, bowl in the morning, and then put some of this on top of it. Sprinkle some kind, healthy grains. Sounds, it's healthy, but it's actually also delicious peanut butter whole grain clusters. These two things together, maybe with some fresh fruit, if you want to act all healthy, these two things together at breakfast are second only to the Trader Joe's seasoning on avocado toast. So get silk yogurt and some kind uh, peanut butter clusters for on top of it. The next item, I'm headed over to the freezer. So, <clears throat> For those of you who have been vegan for a while, you know that Daya was a little bit touch and go in the beginning with some of their products because they were coming out with the vegan cheeses, the first vegan cheeses on the market, and they weren't great. Since then, Daya has stepped up their cheese game a lot, but they've also started making things like cheesecake, uh, other delicious, incredible items, and then this, these amazing ice cream bars, classic vanilla bean covered in a dark chocolate, one, obviously 100% vegan, uh, ice cream bars are so delicious. The only problem with these is that there's only three in a box and uh, there's four of us in the house. So every time we buy them, we at least have to buy two because everyone's going to end up eating them. So this is the Daya Classic Vanilla Bean Ice Cream Bars. And the honorable mention in uh, slot number three goes to, it's a tie between Briars and Perry's. Briars and Perry's Ice Cream are two classic, classic old school, dairy uh, uh, farms that have switched over to producing a lot more vegan options. And both of their ice creams are outstanding. I definitely suggest them, but for the list today, I recommend getting this Daya Classic Vanilla Bean Ice Cream Bar. And in the number seven position from Gardein, wait right there. All right, so we eat a lot of Gardein products. A lot of people do. Gardein makes a lot of great burgers. They make some chicken nuggets. Uh, they make these uh, chicken scapolini breasts that we eat all the time. But I gotta say, this item, their fishless fillets, and others I know, other vegans online agree with me. These are so authentic, so delicious. They're flaky, they're just a little bit fishy. They have that fried flavor to them. We stick them in the air fryer. Uh, you put them on a bun with some homemade tartar sauce, sliced tomato, some, uh, veg uh, some lettuce. These golden fishless fillets from Gardein are amazing, and they won the slot in the number seven position on my top 10 items. And tied in that whole category 
or other gardening products because you gotta hand it to this company. They're putting out some amazing stuff that's authentic, and delicious, easy to cook. Uh, the whole family loves it, so get your hands on some gardening food. Uh, in the number six position, and I've done an entire, uh, we did a whole video on this, is my favorite Elmhurst. Uh, Elmhurst 19, what was it, 20? 1928, 1925, anyway. These Elmhurst plant-based milks are incredible. Elmhurst is again a former dairy farm, milk producing farm uh, here in upstate New York. It's just a couple of hours from here. They switched over because they know that the dairy industry, the writing is on the wall about the dairy industry. They know they need to start moving into a plant-based uh, space. So they've done so with this milked cashews, milked almonds, milked oats, milk hazelnuts. Um, these milks are delicious, uh, and for my money, I love having these on hand. They're shelf stable uh, up to six months, so you can actually, I just saw a video the other day, you can get these shipped to your house. So we love the Elmhurst milked cashews, and I have to put in the same category, tied in that number six position, are Oreos, because I've also done videos on Oreos before. Oreos come out have come out with some of the most amazing flavors uh, of cookies, you can't even believe it, you gotta check them out, but wash them down with some Elmhurst milk cashews, I guarantee it's gonna be a delicious snack at night. So, in the number five position is this newish item, I'm not sure how old it is, but Annie's. Uh, Annie's has been around for a while. If you check out the number of different, the variety of uh, mac and cheeses that Annie's makes, all organic, um, all this sort of like ready-made, the stuff you were used to where you have the powder and you add a little bit of milk and, and butter, this is the stuff, but this one is gluten-free and vegan, and it is by far uh, the best mac and cheese that we have on hand at all times. We, again, will buy uh, a dozen boxes of this at a time because it goes so fast. So, again, the fact this is gluten-free and vegan and that they emulated these little tiny, remember the little noodles that you were so in love with as a kid? Well, this is what this is. And so, in trying to find this, because these also sell out really fast, I found this one, which is also organic, uh, and vegan, and uh, it's more of the little shells, but it's pumpkin and sweet potato. So I'm gonna give this a try, I haven't tried it yet, um, but these Annie's uh, mac and cheeses, we love them, and I'm going to put one other thing in this category because I just caught it at the store and haven't even tried it yet. Modern Table, um, this is one more uh, vegan mac and cheese. I love seeing the word vegan on these products, complete protein. Uh, the, their, their noodles are made out of uh, lentils, rice, and peas, so it's also gluten-free. I'm gonna give this a try, uh, but definitely it's very easy to make some uh, really simple, uh, easy dinners, little snacks for the kids using these vegan mac and cheeses. Number four position, back to the fridge. So, as you know, BioLife, the vegan cheese company uh, out of Greece took over the uh, cheese space by storm uh, a few years ago and then landed at the US just last year. So, <coughs> excuse me, their smoked provolone slices are outstanding. These melt, they taste delicious, they are incredible, they're a good price right now. They share the shelves with the chow cheese and the follow your heart smoked provolones. These are delicious. So Violife, you are in the number four position on the top 10 list of vegan foods I can't live without. But guess what? It's not your smoked provolone that made number four. It's this, your feta. Are you kidding me? A vegan feta. It exists. Violife, as they always do, perfected this. It comes in a little bit of water. The packaging is holding this like sort of spongy feta brick. It is absolutely incredible. We have fallen so hard in love with this product. So as you used to do with your old school feta, make a salad, put on some uh, blueberries, put in some uh, mixed vegetables, and then just crumble some feta on top. And I guarantee you are going to love this stuff. It is absolutely incredible how, how Violife has sort of mimicked things like a smoked provolone, a feta. They have a Parmesan that grates just like a Parmesan. So I would say all BioLife products, all vegan, coming out of Greece, I would say all BioLife products share the number four slot in my top 10 vegan foods I can't live without. Number three is sold out everywhere I go. 
I can't get it anymore. I tried to buy it on Instacart last night, went to two stores, getting ready for this video, it's gone. So I'm gonna tell you what's in the second slot for that number three spot. It is these Earth Balance Puffs. Now I'm not even kidding you, I had to buy a second bag of this because once the kids saw this bag, they opened it and almost finished it. So I had to go out and buy a second bag and also look for the product that actually is supposed to be in this slot, but it's also by Earth Balance. So Earth Balance came out with these puffs a couple of years ago. They taste just like the cheese puffs you love. Uh, they're, they're, they're crunchy, they're puffy, they're, they're you know, they, they suck all the moisture out of your mouth, but they taste just like uh, white cheddar. They're delicious. So Earth Balance, you are in the number three position, but you're in the number three position for your little tiny Cheez-Its. Earth Balance came out with cheddar cheese squares that taste exactly like the Cheez-Its that we all grew up with and love. It is amazing how good they are. So when I go on road trips, I'll buy a box and just like through the whole trip, just finish the box. Uh, so of course I'll buy two boxes. So I actually placed an order to have them here today Every place online is also sold out. So if you can get your hands on those Earth Balance little cheddar squares, do it. If you can't, try the Puffs Earth Balance. We love you. Thank you for your butters. We use your butters, both the stick butter as well as the uh, tub, every day in this house. So give Earth Balance a try. All right, so as you probably could have guessed, the number two position on my top 10 vegan items I can't live without is that's right. <sighs> it's back. <laughs> it was gone for a long time. So Just Mayo, made by Just For All, still holds this amazing uh, clog in my heart as the best vegan mayo uh, on the market. It disappeared for a good almost eight months. So as I can tell by going to their website and some of the inside word on what Just is about, or Just is up to, is they put a lot more time, marketing, and money into the Just Egg, which is the, it comes in the same package and you squirt it on a frying pan and you make like a scrambled egg out of it. I think the Just Egg took all of the wind out of the Just Mayo sales for a good eight months. So <laughs> just the other day, just posted online, you can now buy it at uh, Milk Guys, which is a great website for buying vegan products. And you can also buy it at walmart.com. So, I mean, I got this notice on my phone at 11 p.m. By 11.08 p.m., I bought six jars of this. I was not going to run out. So I've got six jars, well, five now, <laughs> in my refrigerator. I love Just Mayo. Just you won the number two slot. Probably for those of you who watch my videos, follow me on Instagram, Check me out on Facebook. For those of you who follow, you probably thought this was gonna be number one, didn't you? Because I have this like ongoing love affair with Just, Just Mayo, but it wasn't number one. So here are in front of me, 10 through two, the uh, all the way leading up to number one. Uh, who, who has the number one coveted spot in the top 10 items we can't live without in the, the day and age of being vegan? It has to go to my friends in California, Beyond Meat. So between the Beyond Burger, which is now reformulated by the way, it's now even meatier, which is awesome having the word media on there. Um, the new version of the Beyond Burger, you can tell it has the marbling in it. This product is so delicious. <coughs> This product is so delicious. We love the Beyond Burger uh, burgers. We love the Beyond Burger beef. Um, this is so versatile. We've used it to make meatballs, meatloaf, of course, burgers. This is, again, are the two burgers that you get in a, in a package. There's also a brick now that you can buy of the Beyond Burger brick beef. All delicious. I highly recommend Beyond Burger, all Beyond Meat products. And this actually shares the number one spot with Look at this package is empty. That's how much we eat this stuff uh, with the Beyond Sausage. So of all the products that are out right now, this is uh, again, I'm, I'm taping this on World Vegan Day 2019. Of all the products that are out today, I have to say Beyond Meats, Beyond Sausages, the Hot Italian or the Brats, this is the Brat Original, uh, wins the number one spot uh, out of all of these foods. 
uh, by far. The, the, what they've done, the way they've innovated, um, sausage, link, patty, uh, the flavors, the texture is just unreal. It's absolutely incredible. It's delicious. So we eat these a lot in this house, along with the Beyond Burger. You guys, Beyond Meat, you have done it. Uh, others are following you now. Uh, the, the, pump, the, the IPO for this company went through the roof. So definitely support Beyond Meat, support these vegan products. Uh, comment below um, on your favorite vegan products. Uh, let me know where I'm wrong or let me know what things you've tried that are on this table that you really love um, and subscribe. So thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time.